Joining me is Dr. Rob Zadiska. Of course, many of you who have followed my career throughout uh, my time at KMTV in Omaha know that do Dr. Zadiska and I hosted Sports Sound Off together. It's been, what, a year and a half it's since like, we've been on camera it together? It's, been, it's nice to be on camera again <laughs> with you. I'm having flashbacks. I tell you, first of all, you don't usually have that thing on your lip. What is that? Hey, you know what? It's, it's a national fundraiser, Mustaches for Kids. We've got a local, local group here in Omaha doing it. And we are raising money for Children's Respite Care Society. Go to M4K Omaha, M the number 4K Omaha.com, donate. It's a great cause. You know, it's been uh, a lot has happened since you and I left the air. You know, Nebraska now joining the Big Ten, and this has been a busy week. Let's start with what's made the most news, and that is Jim Trestle in Ohio State. Your impressions of what has gone down really since December to where we are right now? You know, if you had told me this even two weeks ago that this would be happening, I mean, you go back to the whole financial crisis of the last year, this was one of those too big to fail situations. I really did not think that this would come to pass. I thought he was really too powerful and held too much sway within the college football world and Ohio State for him to have to step down. At the same time, I didn't realize, when you look at where these allegations are going now, I didn't realize how deep they actually went and how far back in time they went. Let me ask you this, because the big thing is extra benefits, whether that's selling a jersey, selling a helmet, selling a tattoo, that, or selling you know, you know, a program or an autograph to get a tattoo or anything else. You were a player once. That's the hardest thing to police. Don't tell me that in your playing time that you didn't know some of your teammates who, who sold an autograph or sold no, a jersey. And that's the kind of thing. It, it happens everywhere, and I think most programs really try and do a good, legitimate job of trying to put a stop to it, trying to prevent it from the get-go. And when it does happen, you see repercussions come down. And in this case, you know, I don't think it's that people are so upset about what these players did. What they're upset about is the fact that, one, they did it. Two, it seems like there was a degree of common knowledge within the athletic department, personnel, coaches, and administrative staff, and nobody did anything to stop it. On top of that, they just frankly, they outright, outright lied and covered this up for months. You know, moving on, this, the second big story this week was Cody Green, the uh, quarterback from Nebraska, transferring. No big surprise. In fact, you and I have watched him uh, since he was a freshman. He never felt comfortable, I, th I felt, in any Nebraska system. He came with a big, big, a uh, lot of five stars, but he never felt c comfortable under center, even for a guy that came in early in, in his, his freshman year. No, and, and i got to be honest, he's one of those guys where I think he, he's a gr he seems, one, like a great kid, two, a very intelligent kid. Uh, he's got a lot of poise. He's one of those guys, i got to be honest, I'm not sure what system he'd fit really well into. When I watch him play, he's got reasonably good speed. He's got, he, he's got very good, maybe not great, but very good arm strength. It just looks like he never really has been in that position where he's ever really acclimated to the speed of college football. It's a different sport from high school football to college football, even going from 5A Texas to college football. And i just I got to be honest. I see him having a very mediocre, good, solid backup career no matter where he's at. Well, and let me ask you this, because people have expectations. I mean, he was one of these four or five stars coming out of Texas. But let's go to, to Kurt Dukes. Let's go to Bobby Newcomb. Let's go to Harrison, uh, Beck. Harrison Beck. Let's go to a Patrick Witt. And now a uh, Cody Green. Uh, how can these recruiting services get it so wrong? Well, it's one of those things, it's always been hit or miss. You can go back in history, it's always been hit or miss with the recruiting services. It's just now, more than anything, these kids are so hyped up and there's so much publicity out there. You can turn on the computer, you can check on Twitter, you can go on the social networks like Facebook and whatnot. You can follow these guys, I mean, for their entire high school careers on camera, see exactly what they're doing. There's so much hype. And all of that hype is just literally at our fingertips, and I think that's the big difference. It's nothing new that these kids are coming to college and not panning out or not living up to the hype. It's just that there's so much more hype, and the information that's out there is just so much more available than it ever was before. You know, Athlons has come out with its uh, preseason magazine. Nebraska picked to win the leaders' division uh, in, in the Big Ten. Iowa, they picked eight and four in a Gator Bowl spot. With, with not playing a game, if you're an Iowa fan, do you take that right away at eight and four? <laughs> I think you're pretty <laughs> upset with that. You really? I mean, you, you, I, you, you I lose would. a lot on defense, and you're playing with, with a quarterback that's unproven. 
It, it is, but at the same time, you look at what Stanzi did this last year, and he was, I don't want to call him a footnote to the season last year, but I think the fact that Iowa was able to maintain some degree of running game, they're almost kind of like the Denver Broncos were dur during the 1990s, you can almost plug anybody into that offense, and they're going to run the ball well, they're going to take care of the ball, and I think when Stanzi was out, you, you saw what was behind them there. I mean, they, they've got capable guys at quarterback, and Ference has always done a really good job at plugging holes. He's a classic reloader. He's not a rebuild. Back to Nebraska, one proven quarterback. Should they be the favorite to, to win the, the Legends division? And with that schedule, do you think they do? I, I think they've got to be in the discussion for it. I'm not going to come out and say they're going to win it because it's going to be awfully hard if they have the same kind of offensive production they had the last two years. Now, conversely, I think the defense is going to be just as good, if not better, than they were the last two years. And I think a lot of people have a lot of hope in the fact that you look at how good Nebraska was. I mean, they won 20 games over the last two years with literally almost zero offensive production. All the, I mean, they could have okay to mediocre offensive production, and it would be a step ahead of where they were the last two years winning 20 games. I think Nebraska winning 9 to 11 games is... is well within the realm of possibility. Okay, you're a Big 8 guy. How jealous are you of these guys playing in the Big 10 now? <laughs> Again, going back to the whole talking about Trestle earlier, if you had asked me a couple of years ago would I like to see this, it, I would have said it's an abomination. Right now, I'm one of the biggest Big 10 fans because I think when you look at the long-term picture, when you look at what the Big Ten Conference has done in terms of television money, the overall structure, they're right up there with the Southeastern Conference. These conferences are one, two in terms of overall quality, but especially in terms of how they're managing the overall league. You know, you went to Nebraska. It's not an AA school anymore. How'd you get a doctor's degree? Okay, that was <laughs> that was a low blow. <laughs> He's, he's still the smartest man I know, and I tell you what, you're going to hear a lot more from him throughout the football season on HuskerHawkeye.com. He's Dr. Rob Zadiska. I'm Travis Justice. Thanks for watching.